Hey, that's Mom Peep Self Ocean 77 here today to talk about the self titled Three Days Grace album and why I think it is overrated. Now, I'm going to start out with some positives. Now, when people think of this album, there's probably two things mainly that pop in your head, maybe a third thing. Mm. And for most people, those are I Hate Everything About You, what a lot of people consider to be their best song in their magnum opus. And while it's not even in my top 10, it is in my top 15. And it is an absolutely brilliant song. The second being Just Like You, which I will get to it in a bit. And then Home, definitely one of the hardest hitting tracks Three Days Grace has ever made. Absolutely brilliant. And, uh, yeah. But, along with that, some of the deeper cuts, well, while they still do have some of the problems that I will be going into in a little bit, some tracks that I really love, other than uh, I Had Everything About You and Home, are uh, Now or Never, most definitely. It provides a really good retrospective on what, well, I feel like it's even more impactful now than it would have been if I listened to it or back in 2004 when I was born, especially because how much everything has changed and just the outlook it has in this time. Are we loving or do we sit here wondering why this world isn't turning around in this way? Are we learning or do we sit here yearning for this world to stop turning around? Just are we going to fix our mistakes? Or are we just going to let everything crumble? And that is definitely one of the biggest driving forces between behind why I love that song in specific so much. And for Wake Up, uh, it is emotional as shit. It's like, I've changed. I've Please just let me back in. I, I've become... A better person than I was I won't hurt you anymore it's a cry for acceptance for forgiveness and it just it hits wake up I'm pounding on the door I'm not the man I was before where the hell are you when I need you wake up I'm pounding on the door I won't hurt you anymore where the hell are you when I need you just those lyrics alone provide an immense amount of beauty to the song. And that's not even including the range Adam has. Now let's get into some of the negatives. Remember how I said I'd mention Just Like You in a little bit um, before the two-minute mark even happened, I believe? Well, here's the time. Just Like You is my personal least favorite, well... I shouldn't say least favorite, but it's my least liked song from the Gontier era. It just is pretty slow and drab. I don't really feel much out of it. Yes, the message is brilliant. It strives for individuality, but at the same time, message should be a second to how a song sounds because I, well, if the sound isn't good, then people won't care about the message because they just won't listen to the song if they don't think it sounds good. But, well, other than that, though, like I said, just like you being slow, I mean, the lyrics are also extremely repetitive, except for the one part where it goes all my own because I can't take living with you all along. Wait, I'm alone, so I won't turn out like you want me to. I mean... Yeah, that's the one break we get from it. And even then, it's just... It's too short. The song feels like it has a huge lack of any sort of energy to bring it back up. That is... Well, those are the reasons why I just think... Well, why well, think Just Like You is just good and no better? But another one of the issues I have with this album is that... So many of these songs sound similar. I mean, the instrumentation is extremely close. For instance, in uh, Born Like This and Scared, 
well, yeah, take the instrumentation, take the general tone. They are ext- just, it doesn't cross the line, but it hits the line of being too similar to another song. Same as things like Burn and Drown. So many of the songs sound so similar, and that is one of the things that brings it down because, well, at least in my opinion, you shouldn't be doing only one thing on an album. If it was only one song, maybe two or three, okay, I can get it then. But an entire album with 10 plus songs, no. I want to hear some variety at least. And along with that, my final point is that a lot of these songs are just really forgettable. I mean, Burn. Who remembers that extremely well? I'm sure that there may be a few people, just like for every song on this album. I mean, it is Three Days Grace's first album, but at the same time, like I said, a lot of these are just forgettable. Scared? I mean... The last time I had anything related to do with Scared was when I made an Instagram post that had me uh, just doing, going through the motions with that song. And yeah, it was cringe. I'm gonna admit. But mm, let you down? I mean, mm, born like this, it does have that psychotic feeling. But other than that, it's just like a lot of the other songs on this track. It doesn't hold up to things like the hidden gems in Transit of Venus. Things like Happiness, Give In To Me, Expectations, Broken Glass, Unbreakable Heart. Things like that. And I will make another video soon on why I think Transit of Venus is extremely underrated. But yeah, that is... Well, and don't even get me started on some of the huge hard hitters from 1X and uh, Life Starts Now. Now, if you've watched my top 10 favorite Three Days Grace songs video, you would know that only one song that was not from 1X made it on, that being Chalk Outline from Transit Venus. So you already know that these songs don't compare to the 1X songs, in my opinion. I think while well, 1X will always be the magnum opus album of Three Days Grace, it will always be their best, and I don't think anything will be able to change that. And, well, so it's not really com fair to compare, but I will do one comparison. Actually, I think I'm, I'm gonna do two. Sorry that the camera's moving around, I'm just trying to crack my knuckles. Okay, so the first comparison will be between I Hate Everything About You and Never Too Late. Definitely the two most popular Three Days Grace songs, but Never Too Late just has that, well, I'm not saying I Hate Everything About You doesn't have passion, but we can see it, well, we can hear the absolute wailing in Adam's voice like he's begging the person he's talking to not to end their life, and it actually feels like he is legitimately talking to someone but he puts an actual melody in there and it's just so methodical the entire way through and i hate everything about you it hits hard it is amazing it is an absolute head-banging rocker but compared to never too late i don't see any competition the next is between Home and Pain. Both express very accurate and strong things that a lot of people feel relation to. Home is about feeling like you don't belong somewhere. You're constantly being tortured, so you try to find a place for yourself, but you just end up just having to go through the cycle because there's no way out. And pain, well, like it says, it talks about how feeling some sort of, well, feeling any sort of agony or anguish is better than numbness. 
one of the most intelligent things I've heard from any Three Days Grace song is the quote, anger and agony are better than misery, which does come from pain. And while I do love home, pain is definitely an easy top five for th from Three Days Grace for me. It is one of their most popular songs for a reason, and it's not difficult to understand why. It is absolutely brilliant, and well, while Home is as well, I just don't see it comparing to Pain. And also, let's get Pain to 150 million views, and let's get Never Too Late to over 200. Anyways, guys, this has been Typhlosion 77 on why I think the original 3 Days Grace album is overrated. And I am out of the house. Bye.